to the channel, everyone. It's your boy, the Franchise Guy. Coming at you again with episode number 39 of our Philadelphia Phillies MLB The Show 20 franchise mode. The Phillies are 80 and 47. We have a man making his MLB debut right there. Yeah, you see that name correctly. That last name says Randolph. And if you're a Phillies fan, you know one of the most disappointing draft picks in Philadelphia's history, excluding J.D. Drew. And, uh... Anyone else from probably the mid 2000s, but is Cornelius Randolph a first round draft pick who uh, did not or has not lived up to that expectation so far? But we got Spencer Howard on the mound, and Howard has a one, two, three inning to start off this game as the Reds go down without a fight. Luis Castillo, the two time Miami Marlin, is 10 5 this season with a 3.7 ERA. A 129 whip, 161 punch outs, two only 52 walks, 143 hits allowed, and that's only in 25 starts. So he's got 10 no decisions on the season. It's gonna show a lot on this Reds offense for just not putting things together. But 2-2 count right now to Bryce Harper, who's leading this game off. We do have Andrew McCutcheon getting the day off right there. I can't remember if he had a mild injury or he's just getting a rest day. But we do have Cornelius Randolph starting in center field. Adam Hazley has moved to left field for this game. But JT Ramuto, who is batting second, is going to get himself a double after that left fielder. Overruns the ball, which is kind of stopped in left field. His glove stopped. It's going to be really a single with an E7 on Jesse Winker. Now Adam Hazley up, and Adam Hazley is going to go down via the punch out right there. So Hazley, first strike of victim of the game for, or sorry, second strike of victim of the game for Luis Castillo. And now Reese Hoskins comes up, and Reese gets that one down. It's going to one-hop off the warning track onto the wall. Hoskins will be in the second base safely, and that's going to be a runner come home from second. So it's 21st double season for Hoskins. JT scores easily. And now Alec Baum comes up, and Alec Baum no doubts that one to left field right there. An absolute line drive bullet down the middle. I mean... Can't get much more of a line drive home than that. His 13th of the season, and Castillo just left that one right over the middle, and Alec Baum did not miss. Has not fully come around to the major league yet, but hey, if he keeps it up and he keeps getting pitches to hit and to drive, he's going to keep doing that, and he's definitely going to get his numbers up for the young third baseman right here. But he's not the only young infitter we have on this team. I think Bryson Stott, who just had his... Uh, Batting average flash with that at a 174. Not doing super duper hot, but hey, could be worse. Or could it? I don't really know. But Bryson slot up now, the 1 1 count to the Phillies young shortstop. He's listening out to that left center field gap right there. Left fielder's tracking it back, and that one will be over the wall right there. Back to back home runs for this Phillies team. That's going to be Stott's fourth on the season right there. As the Phillies are going to move out to a 4 to nothing lead after back-to-back -back home runs by two of the Phillies' young infitters right there. Baum, who made his MLB debut last season, and Stott, who made his MLB debut earlier this season. But Stott and Baum both got long hair over there on that left side of the infield. And both of them homering right here is that ball kind of up and away. But Stott just got the head of the bat on that one, sent that one oppo field. I mean, more or less oppo field. It's left center, more not really dead left. But now Scotty K comes up. Can we go back to back to back? And no, Scott Kinger goes down to be the punch up to end this inning. Luis Castillo does allow four runs this inning, so not great for Castillo. Howard up now, and he's gonna get the first batter of the inning to go down via the punch up. No swing. Howard second strike out of the game. Now Mike Moustakas comes up. Moose goes down via the punch out. Howard challenged him big fast but on the middle and blew it right past Moose. Cornelius Randolph up for his first major league at bat and taking on the 1-2 count. Going to go down via the punch out. So his first at bat is going to be a strikeout. So a disappointing start to this game off definitely for Cornelius Randolph. And Harper also goes down via the punch out. See, two punch outs are sitting for Luis Castillo. As you see, showing you, he is dominating after that rough first inning. 3-2 count now, and Bomb gonna get robbed of a strikeout. I'm sorry, Spencer Howard gonna get robbed of a strikeout right there. I mean, that was a uh, Barnhart had just, you know, had a pitch just rifle down the outside portion of that plate, inside and everything. But hanging ball right there. 
gets Castillo to strike out right there. So he originally had a bun on, but he bunted it foul to give him two strikes, so he just was forced to swing. And now, first walk issue of the game, it's going to be JT Ramuto, as he's going to be Castillo's first walk. Going to bring that pitch cut up eventually at some point, getting him over 40 pitches finally. As Adam Hayes is going to be the next batter. If Hazley, if he's done anything this series, it's been clutch in the 3 2 count. That's going to be back to back walks issued by Luis Castillo, man on first and second now. And here comes the pitching coach. As Hazley had himself a six pitch at bat right there. Pitching coach going to be like, hey, calm down. You're the best pitcher on this team. Our bullpen is not the greatest. If uh, you give this bullpen a lead, they upgraded the bullpen a couple episodes ago. You, uh, you don't want to face that bullpen. That's too mean. But Hoskins up now. Bottom of the third. It's going to be a grounder to the shortstop. But he's going to bob it over the first. Not in time. And everyone's going to be safe right there. Off of the Yairo Munoz error. Munoz who was traded to the Reds during the offseason off camera. But that's going to be Alec Bomb sending that one to deep center field. That's going to be his second home of the game. His 14th of the season. A grand slam. Six RBI game right now for Alec Baum as the Phillies have broken this game wide open. An eight to nothing lead now for Philadelphia as everyone there crowds around home plate, not social distancing because they're too pumped for their stud third baseman, who's the, probably the best stud third baseman they've had since Scott Rowland. Maybe Chase Elliott he played a little bit of third base with Philadelphia. I don't know if he did it all. I know he played some first base, but. Alec Baum sent down to the center field right there. Center fielder did not even try for it. It was over the over the batter's eye. And now the manager after he came out and talked to Luis Castillo after issuing two walks this inning, he's come out again. And David Bell said, hey, that's enough out of you. You're done. You're trash. Get out of here. Going to go to this god-awful bullpen that we did not want to go to. But Castillo's day is done. And in will come Robert Stevenson, the one-time starter in 75 games. It's 8-2. and two. Nine holds, 70 innings pitch, a 3.89 ERA, 77 punch outs to 24 walks, 269 versus righties, and 250 flat versus lefties. So overall, not a bad season for Stevenson. But Scotty Kingery comes up, and Kingery going to get himself a perfect, perfect single left field right there. It's going to be first hit issued or allowed by Stevenson this game as he comes in in only the third inning. And now Spencer Howard up, and Howard go down via the punch out, first punch out of the game for. Robert, Nicholas Casta Nicola Nick Castellanos comes up. Jeez, he has a hard name to say. Goes down via the punch out. And now back to the Phillies is Bryce Harper. Going to draw himself a walk right here. Another walk issued by this Reds pitching staff. First of the game issued by Stevenson. As that's now three walks in the past two innings for the Phillies. As uh, you just got to run a pitch come up every once in a while. Every time you have a pitcher that needs to not get in the groove, all you got to do is just get a walk. But 2-1 count to JT, and JT sends that one to deep left field. That one's going to be off the top of the wall there. Everyone's holding up, seeing if it's going to clear the wall or not. JT's going to stay at second. Harper will stay at third right there. It's going to be his 24th double on the season. Adam Hazley up now, and Hazley chops that one to the second baseman. But the runner from third base will score. JT will go over to third. So it's going to be a sacrifice ground out to the second baseman. And now Hoskins goes down looking via the uh, punch out right there. Fastball just up and outside, but Hoskins did not swing in it. Winker taking on Howard now, and Howard going to get better Jesse Winker this time. Going to get a strikeout on that pitch on the outside corner of the plate. Six punch out of the game right there. See Team ERA leaders going to see the Phillies ranked third place behind the Dodgers. And I believe that's the Braves or Diamondbacks. I don't know. Someone like that. But Kingery goes down via the punch shot yet again to Robert. And now we have Cornelius Randolph up in Cornelius. Going to get draw himself a walk. So, first time on base for Randolph, the former first round draft pick for the Phillies. As now Spencer Howard's will be up with two outs. And Howard going to line this fastball into center field right there. Base hit. So he's got more base hits to this game than Cornelius Randolph does. And uh, Cornelius Randolph might be this team's Mitch Walding. Top of the sixth, here we go. Line ball, line drive to Alec Baum. Baum lays it out for it, but could not get to it. Tries to rush the throw over to first base instead of just eating it, and it's going to be an error. It's going to put the ball into the stands. But Howard bounces back after that. Gets the big punch right there. His seventh of the game so far. 
Now up to two pitch to Shogo. Uh, yeah, Shogo. I ever say his last name. And that's going to be a pretty good throw by Adam Hazley. But the runner will score from second base right there. And now 3 1 count. Guess what? Howard going to issue a walk right here. That time it definitely was on Howard's fault, not the umpire. Just, you know, not giving him the right pitch. But bottom of the six, here we go. JT goes down to be the puncher right there. He's trying to take ball four, but no. Stevenson up over 57 pitches right now for the 59. And that 60th pitch does not fare well for Robert Stevenson. But that's going to be an Adam Hazley, no doubt, home run to deep right field. Hazley, his 60th of the season. Hazley spent some time on the IL this season earlier on. But right now, hey. Adam Hazley showing he is in mid-season form and he is ready for the postseason, which will be coming up in the next couple of episodes as this Phillies team sitting at already 80 wins will most likely secure the National League East in back-to-back -back seasons. This offense and pitching staff for the most part is clicking on full cylinders right now coming out of the All-Star game. And it's going to replay that home right there. Just look at that curve, that path it takes. It's going to be a second deck to it's the first or the second deck right there. As Big Reese Hoskins comes up and Hoskins sends that one to deep left field. It's going to be back to back home runs for the Phillies yet again this game as Hoskins and Hazley go back to back. It's going to be the 30th on the season for Reese Hoskins, who has slowed down a little bit in his home run production. Last year, he's definitely at that 40 home run mark around this time, but only at 30 right now. Nothing to complain about. But just wish we had a little more pop out of our first baseman. But then again, you can't complain about having a player who's just going to mash 30 home runs and get 100 RBIs out of you and play some pretty decent first base either. I mean, Ryan Howard did that, and he played pretty poor first base. He was not a great defender whatsoever. More or less a DH of the National League, honestly. But after that home run, Rysel Iglesias would come in. Uh, Iglesias in 58 games is 2-3 with 19 holds. 47 innings pitch, a 6 27 ERA. 55 punch outs to 29 walks. Lefties and righties both having field days, both batting over 300 against the one-time dominant closer. Now Bryson Stott, the 3-1 count. Stott going to get that one to ground second baseman. Second baseman can't feel that great as that's going to be a rule to base hit for Stott, uh, Bryson Stott as he now has two hits in the game as he's slowly going to average up to that 200 mark. And 3-1 count. Scott Kingery is going to hold up right there. So Iglesias comes in, instantly gives up a single and a walk. As Scott Kingery's magic bat is going to still be in his hand. Now Joey Vado taking on Spencer Howard. And Vado going to show his prowess right there at the play as he's going to be drawing a walk right there. As Howard is approaching that 100 pitch mark so far in the 7th inning. 101st pitch will be sent to deep right field. Bryce Harper's giving chase. He's going to play it off the wall. It's going to one hop right into his chest. Gets it quickly into the second base right there. And now we have a pinch hitter for the Reds. That's going to be a Stratus Aquino coming in. The young, I guess he's 25, 24. Young outfitter right here. He did break Reese Hoskins' home run record for home runs in a certain amount of time or quickest home runs. Going to have Hazley jump for it. Hazley can't get it. It's going to be the third base of that Alec Baum all the way up there in left field. Going to pick that ball up as he's going to throw a pretty poor ball to catcher JT Riamuto. But base is juiced now for Howard. And Howard gets the punch right there on the full count. So Howard showing dominance right now. His eighth punch out of the game so far as he gets out of that inning. And Pedro Stroke, the former Cub, comes in. In a one game, he's got a 4-6-2 ERA. 65 punch outs to 42 walks. 2-2, two two, 15 holds, and he's doing, eh, not great. Daniel Polka pinch hitting for the Phillies. He's got 7 home runs and 13 RBIs. I believe the majority of those home runs are from that pinch hit slot. But the 2-2 two two count will go down via the punch out for Polka, as he could not catch up with that cutter. It's going to be first strike out of the game for Pedro Stroh. And now Bryce Harper also goes down via the punch out right here. So back-to-back -back punch out for Stroh. As he showed that ERA does not mean much. That's now 3-2 count, and guess what? JT's going to draw a walk right here. So holding up on that pitch is a little up, a little outside. And that magic bat's back again as he tossed it, but it stayed to his hand. And now Adam Hazy comes up. He's going to flare that one to right field. It's going to drop in front of the right fielder. JT's going to third. He's going to slide in safely. So runners on the corners now. Two outs for Reese Hoskins and Hoskins. 
draws himself a walk. Bases are loaded. Pestrop is now over 20 pitches. Has only faced three batters and is over 20 pitches thrown right now. And he gets out inning, unfortunately, though. Nick Anderson comes in, the former Rays All-Star. In 43 games, he's 2-1, 28 saves, 2.43 ERA, 40 innings pitch, 55 punch outs, 13 walks. And he's going to come up here and get the first batter he sees to go down to be the punch out right here. Iguano Suarez comes up, and it... There you go. It's going to be a walk issue by Anderson. He doesn't issue a lot of walks, but he does sometimes issue them. But Nick Anderson just has to come down. Bear down now. Get Jesse Winker out. Get those bottom two. Get those fifth and sixth hitters out. Get out of this inning easily. But 3-1 count now to Winker. Winker going to line that one to left field right there. And that's going to be a single issued right after that walk. So two men on now. One out as Joey Votto comes up. And Votto. Going to send this one to center field right there. Hazley comes up firing. And that's going to be up the line a little bit. But JT does corral it. Base is juiced now with two outs. And there you go. Punch out for Nick Anderson. As he gets number 16, Tucker Barnhart to strike out to end the inning. With the Reds threatening to score some runs in the top of the eighth inning. But on to the bottom of the eighth now. It's going to be a 2-2 count to Scott Kingery. And Kingery goes down to be the punch out. So Strope has come in. Had a rough start to his outing, but has more or less mowed down the Phillies. As Christopher Sanchez now makes an appearance for the Phillies in 28 games, he's 3 and 1. 1 for 2 in saves. They're in his pitch. He's having a pretty decent season for the rookie. But with 2 outs inning, well, 1 on the inning, Sanchez will get the strikeout right here. His first punch out of the game. And now full count to Yara Munoz. And Munoz, chopper to first base from his Hoskins. Hoskins gets it, runs the first, steps on first for the final out right there. As the former Philly, Ira Munoz grounds out to current Phillies first base and Reese Hoskins to end the game as the Phillies do end up winning 11-1 to right there. Cornelius Randolph was more or less non-existent in his Major League debut. He played left, not center field. I made that mistake earlier saying that in the game. But Andrew McCutcheon should be back by next episode, I believe, if he was hurt. If not, he should be back tomorrow if he just getting the day off. But Phillies do have a big showing, and I did have someone ask me the question, what difficulty I play. I do play on all-star difficulty on both pitching and hitting. I do have loss there once in a while, so every once in a while we do just hit really good games where do just bad pitches end up to big games like this. How many times do we have balls that were left over the heart of the plate? Alec Baum was player of the game with two home runs, went two for five with six RBIs. Switch out with the win and lose with the loss right there. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below what your favorite part was. If you guys like Matt, check out our Madden 21 giveaway. It'll be right until the end of the month, the 24th, be more specific. But text on YouTube. Peace out. Rock on. Stay super classy. Wash your hands. And uh, go Phillies, I guess. I don't know.